Okay, so how can I optimize my landing page for quality score, uh, but also have it optimized for conversion? I know this is, Anna, this is probably one of the questions I receive the most um, from, from our users. Me too, absolutely. And I would add in here that there is another element, because you, you probably, if, if your landing page is living on your website, you also want to have it be optimized for SEO. So a lot of these things go hand in hand, and some of them sort of battle. And I have a few examples here. Um, if you want to go to the next slide. Okay, there we go. All right. So um, I actually pulled these examples from our How to Do PPC ebook that Trata published recently. Um, but there are two basic rules that you can follow for both PPC and conversion. And let's look at this slide first. And then when we go to the next slide, we'll see where they sometimes tend to butt heads. Um, and I think this is a good opportunity for myself and for Ollie to have um, a conversation. So the number one thing you can do <laughs> that will that will um, boost your conversion rate but will also boost your quality score is to fulfill the promise in the ad. If the ad says lightweight aluminum canoes, send the searcher to a landing page that sells lightweight aluminum canoes and then make it easy for them to buy. So the, the best thing that you can do is you can send someone to the place they want to go and then let them do the thing they want to do. Ali, would you agree? Yeah, definitely. Um, I love the way you're covering a bunch of my answers. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd love to hear you expound on this point. Um, well, I think going back to the last uh, slide, um, there's a human factor and a machine factor. Um, the human factor being the user experience when people get there, that's going to affect your conversion. Because if they get there and the message this match is bad, like you just said, um, or there's not a good experience, they're just going to go away and then click on one of your competitors' ads. Um, and the machine factor is obviously what Google's doing to rate your page. Yes, exactly. And uh, actually, I think we should go to the next slide and talk about when sometimes uh, landing pages that are optimized for conversion may not be perfectly optimized for quality score. So sometimes conversion centric design and really the only way to know what design or what layout or what user experience gets you the most conversions is to find out on your own. We can tell you best practices all day about where to put things and how to write things, but A-B testing is the only way to figure out what, how you're going to get the highest conversion rate. And it's very possible that a landing page for you with the highest conversion rate is going to be one that has very little uh, copy on the page itself. Um, and you do actually need to have a certain amount of copy on the page in order to make your landing page uh, optimized for quality score. Now, there are lots of sort of best practices out there about keyword density, but again, this all just comes down to making sure that there's a keyword that someone searches for, or excuse me, a search term that someone searches for, which connects to a keyword that you have in your campaign, which exists in an ad, and then also exists in the landing page. So for the most part, we can make everyone happy by having a landing page that is designed for conversion, but also has enough keyword density and has the correct keywords to be able to work for a quality score. And if you find yourself suffering a little bit with quality score but doing much better with conversions, this is why it's a good idea to have a bigger picture view of how your campaign works on the whole. Because if you have to sacrifice one thing for another but it gets you a better ROI in the end, then make the sacrifice. Ollie, what do you think? I totally agree. I mean, I'm on the conversion end, so <laughs> um, the, the more convert customers you get, the better. And yet, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. if it makes you more money, then... I don't know. It's a no-brainer, really. <laughs> exactly. So if you're getting more conversions and your quality score goes down a little, so you're paying a little bit more for clicks, um, if that ends up working out in your favor, then let it work in your favor. But at the end of the day, while, while you know conversion people and quality score people and SEO people are frequently kind of butting heads about what works the best, what works the best for you is what works the best. And, you know, that can differ so greatly across so many different types of campaigns. 